coverage of the National Football League brings us to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Mass. A moment ago, the pride of Massachusetts, the Patriots, introduced to this, as always, sold-out crowd as they get set to go head-to-head -head with the Kansas City Chiefs. On first and ten, here's Mahomes to the sideline. Wow, what a catch. Doesn't get a lot out of it, but he is able to keep the feet in bounds. Five yards on the catch there brings up second down. Remember, the Chiefs and Pats met in the season opener last year, and it was the Chiefs that came in and shocked the defending champs 42-27 behind four Alex Smith touchdowns. Ball on the 30, they'll come up with a second and five. On second down, here's Mahomes. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. Sammy Watkins, the intended target, and it's third and five. When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches had told me in the past. The biggest teaching point, get your head around. Locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. Third play here, this opening drive as they're up against a third and five. Here we go. From the gun, it's Mahomes. He's going to wind up and air it out. Got a man, it's caught inside the 10. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. That's a big-time pitch and catch right there. And, partner, I remember the days when quarterbacks would try this. They were holding their breath. But nowadays, they're counting on their receiver to be just a little bit better than the defensive back when it's one-on-one -on -one and the ball's in the air like that. Here we go. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. And he floats one there incomplete. Trying to go back to Watkins, and it's second down. That's already the third time they've looked his way on this opening drive. He's caught one of the three. But that doesn't mean they won't continue to go in that direction. It feels like they think they've got something good going there, and they think those numbers are going to increase. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. Here we go now. Three, They'll give it to Three, him up the middle. Nine. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. A nice run there as he picks up six. It's going to be third and goal now. And that was a good run. This is only one of nine guys to go over 1,000 yards in 2017. And I think you can't let him run wild here. What do you think, 100 yards, the measuring stick? Always. That is the threshold. You want to keep him under that if you want to play good defense. Here's Mahomes, third and goal. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. A great effort there. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Chiefs take it right down and score on the opening drive. Getting your back involved, what's the importance there in the passing game? Well, oftentimes you can create mismatches because who's going to cover him? And you get him into space, which is where he likes to operate with the ball in his hands. Oftentimes makes people miss, gets that run after the catch, and off he goes. And into the end zone. Butker now to kick this one away. On the return, here's the dangerous Cordero Patterson. Well, the New England Patriots coming out to take over the football yet again. And uh, Charles, <laughs> you and I were talking about this before the game, but it was a one and two start for the Patriots. The whispers, oh, oh the boy, dynasty's over. over. What's going to happen now? And boom, 38 to 7 over Miami in what you might call a get right game. Yeah, it certainly was a get right game. And can't you just pretty much set your watch to it, pull up the calendar and go, oh, the Patriots struggle a little? Wait, Who are they playing? Oh, that team's in big trouble. And this time it turned out to be Miami. You know, Tom Brady had not lost three games in a row since 2002. He had lost two in a row this season. Didn't get to that third one, did he? No. Played awfully well. Defense played well. Just stifled Miami early. And the New England Patriots, 
We can write a different story about them now, can't we? Yep. Two upcoming home games on the heels of that Miami home game, Indianapolis and then Kansas City. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Wait 20! Wait 20! Go, go! They go play action here on first down. And he's taken down, a Chiefs sack. Allen Bailey in there to drop him, and it'll be a loss of about eight. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18 to throw. It's Brady. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. Charles already trailing by a touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit, even if you don't score any points. On third and long, it's Brady. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. It'll be a two-yard game, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. you like the call? I do. I think it's a high-percentage play because you get the completion, and what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. A well-hit ball there. 50 yards on the punt, three on the return, and it's Chiefs football. First and ten. And out come the Chiefs now. They have to be thrilled with that first drive that got them the touchdown. Now they'll be looking to make it a two-score advantage here on the road. And you know they spent all week in practice, in meetings, talking about taking an early advantage. Being the road team, going up a score, that takes the crowd out of the game and puts some doubt in the minds of their opponents. Here we go. Green, 90. Now a play fake here on first down. He's going to go deep for cut. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Deron Harmon. And they take possession two yards away from midfield at the 48-yard line. That was a really nice interception. I think it illustrates the differences between playing man and playing zone. When you're a man, all you're focused on is the receiver in front of you. But when you're in zone, you're allowed to read the quarterback's eyes and go to the ball. That's exactly what happened on that play. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. That one goes for 24 yards. I've got to assure that I don't take Tom Brady's greatness for granted, that we make it routine. How about that throw right there? Yeah. Another, another great completion. And you know one area where he honed his throwing? He was a catcher in high school. He was actually drafted by the Expos in 1995 in the 18th round. Well, that would have been something to see him behind the dish. I think he gunned down a few guys. Gunned down a few guys trying to steal second. That would have been fun to watch. The linebacker, Anthony Hitchens, there on the stop. The New England Patriots remain consistent on offense with a stable of running backs. They added Sony Michelle, the 31st pick of the draft in 2018, to that stable at the University of Georgia, mainly for his ability to run inside the tackles and add a little thump to their game. By 20, by 20. Brady to throw on second down. Over the middle, that's taken in by Gronkowski. First catch for the all-pro Gronk, and a first down. Well, there it is, partner. Brady to Gronk, their first connection of the game. You think those two often in sync? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's any question about it. And look, we know Gronk has a whole lot of fun, but he's deadly serious about his football, as is Tom Brady. Two great competitors, two fantastic players. Wait, 20. Brady now on first down. This is White on the screen. And this play doesn't go anywhere. Backwards, losing yardage to the 11. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. So they get pushed back to the 11, and here's second and goal. He'll get it up the middle. And able to push his way forward here for a good little gain. Four yards on the pickup there as they get it back to a more manageable third and seven. Partner, I know we're in a goal-to-go situation, but my goodness, think about running the ball here 
not even a thought, yeah, is it? Defensively, they're in a prime spot. And I think the defensive guys are probably expressing themselves to them as well. I wouldn't run it here, guys. You might want to try throwing it. Brady now on third and goal. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Josh Gordon, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Patriots are within an extra point of tying this one up. This is similar to baseball, where you walk the leadoff hitter and you don't expect him to come around and score. Almost impossible. Anytime a defense has to defend a short field, you usually end up seeing the result we saw, giving up points. Goskowski with the extra point, and we are tied at seven. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Chiefs offense now making their way back onto the field. A tale of two extremes already in this game. A touchdown pass on their opening drive, followed by an interception last time out. Now, it sounds like things balance out, right? What's that, right. that mythological thing that we do? If you have a candy bar, have a diet soda with it, it balances it out. And we know that's not really true, right? Because the interception, that sting lingers a little bit longer. Got to come out now and put together some nice plays. He's going to try and go deep again. And that's caught inside the 30. And he finally goes down at the 23-yard line. A big play there, Mahomes to Watkins. 52 yards. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and 10 just outside the red zone. He didn't seem in a rush. I guess they just didn't know where the play clock was. I think you're right about that because there was no hurried movements there, right? No up-tempo at all. Clock just ran out. I think he was as surprised as maybe his bench was. Now they need 15 yards on this series after the delay of game. First and 15. Mahomes going to hand it off to Hunt. And he'll get it down this time in the 17. That one good for 12 yards. And it's a second down. Not an ideal spot to be on first down, but I love that the play caller did not immediately abandon the running game and say, okay, we've got to throw it in order to pick it up. Stayed with the run, was rewarded with a big-time pickup. Now they're in second and manageable. Mahomes to throw on second down. And he's wrapped up. Taken down. Back at the 25. But that takes a start to have a good drive. Quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? No, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. Going to need better protection here. Third and long following the sack for Mahomes and company. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. They'll leave it for Hunt, complete. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. Give him three on the play, and that'll bring up fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. And Butker able to put this one through. And they take the lead here now at 10 to 7. So no problems at all on that one. And, and you know there's virtually no win. This is a kicker's dream here tonight. It absolutely is, isn't it? So to me, with no wind, it should be a passer's dream as well, yeah. right? But in this case, the defense held out. They had to force the field goal.
After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. Now it's Patterson. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. Now the Patriots offense, they work their way back out onto the field. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Wait, 20! Wide, 80! Go! They'll run it here. This is James White, and he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34-yard line. Chris Jones on the stop. What's the old expression? Three yards in a cloud of dust? In this case, it's dust-covered pellets. It's no longer that old grass that we used to play on right and chew it up. Now we've got that artificial surface. You see the pellets go up. Still a nice play by the defense. Wait, 20! Wait, 20! On second down, here's Brady. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. Give him 15 yards on that one, and New England has a first down. They ran that one well, and not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. On first and ten, here's Brady. On the crossing route, that's caught. Julian Edelman. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. That one goes for 24 yards. The former seventh-round pick, Julian Edelman, just continues to have such a productive career. And has made himself into a receiver. Remember, he was a college quarterback, and not just a productive one, a very good one. At Kent State, right? Yes, a great leader, a guy who can make plays with his feet and his arm. Got to the NFL and had to convert him to being a receiver and was drafted that way. And that conversion, <laughs> oh boy, it's been good. Allen Bailey in on the stop. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense let's go, let's because go. you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. On second down, Michelle. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And all of a sudden here, it's third down. Wait, 20. Wide, 80. Yeah. Shotgun now for Brady. He hits right, complete. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Great mix of play calling so far. Three runs, three passes. All three passes have been completions. First and goal. I think on defense now, you have to almost take a chance. Rely on your scouting. Pick a play you think they would run here, and just load up for it and see what happens. Wait, 20! Wait, 20! Alongside Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon, it's the Patriots in possession to begin quarter number two. And they've got it here with a first down. Working from the gun, it's Brady. This is caught, Gronkowski. And inside the five here before he's out of bounds right at the three. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Wait, 20! Wait, 20! Go! Brady. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Reggie Ragland coming hard on the blitz. He dumps him for a loss of eight. When you're this close to the goal line, you've got to expect pressure from the defense. So the ball's got to come out fast. Got to get out of his hands quicker. Tough spot for the Pats now after the sack as Brady will lead him up third and long. 20! By 20! Get. From the gun, it's Brady. 
And he's going to go down again. D Ford in there to drop him. And back-to-back -back sacks now bring up fourth and long. And it appears to me that someone's defensive coordinator is jockeying for a raise. A sack on second and goal, a sack on third and goal, now brings up a decision on fourth down. And Goskowski's kick is good. And that will knot us up at 10. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays that when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point piece of cake. Because the extra point is not a piece of cake anymore. <laughs> but kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. So we're right back where we started, all even as the kick's away. This is taken at his four. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. And the Chiefs now getting set to go. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way we do, you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Mahomes going to throw. He's going to go deep for Conley. And that one falls incomplete. Looked like he might have had position there, but he couldn't hold on it at second down. A lot of contact there, but there was no way it appeared that he was going to get a flag on that one. Looking for it, but he wasn't going to get it. And as an ex-defensive back, you love it when they let you play and jostle downfield. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. Back to the air on second down. It's Mahomes. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Anytime a defense can sit back in a zone like that, it tends to create a lot of congestion in the middle of the field. Makes it very hard to slot one in. Looked like I-4 at rush hour in your hometown of Orlando, Florida. An absolute mess. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. Mahomes now to throw. He is going to find Hill here. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. He got 29 yards that time. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. It's complete to Chris Conley. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Chris Conley, 39 yards. And the Chiefs have broken our tie as they take the lead. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions and I'd hear nine from the receivers, that meant fly route, go, uh-oh, look out. <laughs> that was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. Butker now to kick this one away. Now it's Patterson. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Now the Patriots gearing up to go now. 
And they had a long drive last time, but they had to settle for a field goal, and I'm sure that's how it felt to them, settling. They probably should have gotten in the end zone. Yeah, not out now, joy, right? Because that's what you get when you put the ball in the end zone. But there are benefits to that type of a long drive. Your defense gets a chance to take a break, adjust a little bit, maybe get themselves ready to get back out on the field and play a little bit better. So they'll take the benefit, even though they wanted the six points. And yeah, maybe war down the other defense. We'll see. And he's got a good gain of seven up to the 37. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Now Brady throwing on second down. Right side, that's complete to Gronkowski. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Brady to Gronkowski for the Patriot first down. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. Throwing on first down is Brady. Got a man complete. It's Chris Hogan. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. It, he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, I, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. Brady now on first down. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Gordon. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. The Patriot passing game is rolling. They've got another first down. That time a slant, Brady in general on those quick hitters, he just releases the ball so fast. He does, and he's so accurate, but most of the time, he wins before the ball's even snapped by his pre-snap read. Finds out where the defense is and delivers it to the proper place. Now a first down carry, it's Michelle, and he's gonna fight his way forward here for a modest gain. It was Reggie Ragland who got him down. And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second three. level. Three down, three down. Hey, fellas, you got three. Let's go. Watch tight. Tight ends right. Watch tight. Tight ends right. Wait, 20. Wait, 20. Looking to throw on second down. Brady over the middle. Julian Edelman, it's complete. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Brady to his old reliable Edelman, and the Patriots have a first down. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Go! On first down, Brady. His throw incomplete. The former Bill, Chris Hogan, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. Boy, you will not see a quarterback of his caliber miss on one like that very often. I mean, there it is, wide open, got the shot, and he misfires. We talk about, boy, he'll want that one back all the time. <laughs> he definitely wants that one back. Brady's incompletion on first down Wait, leads 20. to a second and 10. 20. Throwing again, Brady, and Gronkowski's got it, complete over the middle. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Well, that was an okay hook up there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. New England on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and six. Wait, 20! Wait, 20! Now Brady again. This is caught. 
They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Ah, yes, Brady to Gronk. You think these two are in sync? Without a doubt. And look, they both understand what they can do for each other. Gronk knows if he gets open, the ball's going to be there. Go, and Tom Brady knows what a great security blanket Gronk is. When all else fails, you find big 87. Play 20! Play 20! Play the catch! Trying to pound it in here with Michelle. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. Michelle on an island by himself in the backfield, second and goal. Wait, 20! New 20! Brady gonna throw. Toward the pylon caught! And he's gonna get into the end zone! So cue up the Gronk spike, it's a Patriot touchdown. Rob Gronkowski, a five-yard touchdown. And the Patriots are within an extra point of tying this one up. Goskowski for the point after. Extra point good by Goskowski. And we've got a tie game here in a back and forth first half. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. This fielded at the two. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. And now here comes Kansas City. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's humming. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. Ready. To begin the drive, here's a handoff to Hunt. And he'll wind up with about six, up past the 30 to the 31. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Now Mahomes throwing on second down. Floating one incomplete. He was trying to get it to Tyreek Hill that time. And it's third and four. The name of the game is always on defense. Put pressure on the quarterback. And that's exactly what they've done today. It looks like they've got him a little bit rattled. That would have been the second interception in the first half. The Chiefs on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. This is third and four. Working from the gun, Mahomes. He's going to dump this off to his running back, Hunt. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. They'll run it here with Hunt. And he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41-yard line. Get there, get there, get there. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. They'll toss it to Hunt. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves them with a third and three. Well, it wasn't much of a gain, but we're getting near the two-minute warning, so maybe they just want to get to that point, regroup, and decide what they want to do the rest of the half. The Chiefs on third down. They've been near perfect, four for five to this point. This time, it's third and three. Green. 
Now here's Mahomes. And this is going to be incomplete. And based on my math, they've only converted one time thus far in this game. So you can see the frustration starting to come out a little bit. Third downs, they've been a problem for them all game. They've got to start becoming solutions. On fourth down, on is Dustin Colquitt to kick this away. And not what he was hoping for there as this will hit in the end zone for a touchback. The Patriot offense now set to come back out onto the field. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown, and now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense who got the ball back. The special teams went out there, handled things. They've got it. They've got momentum. I know they're eager to get out there and put it on display. Brady now on first down. It's incomplete. Josh Gordon, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. Well, CD, a quick look back at week four in the NFL. Not good for rookie QBs. They went 0 for 4. He had Rosen and Mayfield making their first starts. Both close losses. Yeah, and Sam Darnold took on Jacksonville, one of the better defenses in the league. That's a tough go, and obviously lost that game. And then how about Josh Allen in Buffalo? Going to Green Bay. The Packers wearing the throwback uniforms. He almost didn't have a chance in that one. That was a really difficult. But you mentioned Rosen and Mayfield. Close losses. Acquitted themselves pretty well overall, although Mayfield did turn it over four times in the game. But I like what we're seeing out of him. The one winner, though, is Lamar Jackson, but it doesn't go on his record. He wasn't the starting quarterback. Used a little bit in their game and their win over Pittsburgh. From the 32 now, here's White first 20. and 10. White 20. White 20. On first down, Brady. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Well, while we have a second, wanted to touch on a new program that's making its debut that's got a lot of people excited, Charles. It's the Madden 99 Club. Now, what that is, gives special recognition to those guys with an overall rating of 99. Of course, that's as good as it gets. So through a partnership with our friends at Nike, you're going to see custom one-of-a-kind gold 99 Club cleats and gloves reserved for guys like Antonio Brown, Gronk, and Luke Keekley. And you and I were fortunate enough to get an early sneak peek at them. And I'll tell you, for my money, Really cool thing that they're doing. Sharp, sharp look. And how cool would it be for those guys to be part of that exclusive club and have something that no one else in the league has that signifies them as 99s. That's pretty cool. Throwing his Brady on third down. Trying for Edelman again. This time he's got it. Now here's a defensive timeout called by the Chiefs. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Here's Ryan Allen now as he'll kick it away for the second time. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. And great special teams work here. This is knocking on the door of the five. They'll spot it at the six-yard line. And now here comes Kansas City. They're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. On first down, Mahomes. And Mahomes is going to go down in the end zone and that is going to be a safety well i think you can go ahead and give your punter an assist on that one pinned him deep and the defense comes through with two points you're exactly right partner this was all set up by a great punt and if the ball goes in the end zone this never happens so great call give the punt team and the punter some love And remember, following the safety, you give the football up as well. And they free kick it from the 20 now. Take it at about the 16. Now 
Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. On first and 10, here's Brady. And he's got Edelman on the out route. That's complete. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. As they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. Brady now closing in on a 200-yard first half through the air. It's first and 10. Brady now to throw. This is White on the screen. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. As the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. Working from the gun, it's Brady. And right side caught Hogan. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line, tackled there. 14 yards is the pickup there and a New England first down. And with that completion, he's now north of 200 yards here in the first half. Boy, a tough start for the secondary defensively. It is, and it's got to put a dent in their confidence. And, you know, you always want to keep that up and feel like you can always bounce back after plays. But with the kind of numbers he's putting up here, it's starting to wear on them a little bit, I think. So they're looking at each other and trying to figure out what defense will work and how can they... And he's going to go down. Couldn't get a throw off with the pressure. Maybe that was for the best. As that brings us to the end of this first half of play. So we've reached halftime here at Gillette Stadium with the Patriots on top. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, it's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So Brady and the Pats take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Shotgun now for Brady. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Well, the numbers have been good in the passing game and certainly a big reason why they have the lead. But now here, third quarter, maybe go to the run game a little more? Yeah, perhaps. I mean, after that incompletion, a little credit to the defense for shutting them down on that play. Maybe you try and run the football a little bit more in this spot. But they have to feel good about how they've been throwing it overall. Brady again here on second and 10. Looking middle, it's caught by Gronkowski. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. New England on third down. They've hit it 50%, three of six to this point. This is third and four. Wait, 20! Wait, 20! From the gun, it's Brady. Gets it to Gordon. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. That one good for 13 at a New England first down. It's Michelle. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Back-to-back -back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. 
And that's the big fella's M.O. right there. Running through tackles, keeping the sticks moving forward. This defense, if you don't bring 11 guys to the ball to try and get him on the ground, he's going to keep making runs like that. I feel the press box shaking every time he touches the rock. Wait, set. Wait, 20. No! Throwing on first down. Brady over the middle. That's caught by Hogan. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Wait, 20! A give. This is Michelle. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. Now a play fake here on first down. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Those passes out that far wide always make you hold your breath a little bit. Felt like it was in the air for a while. What it does is it allows a defender to gain some ground, come from a long distance, and have a chance to affect the pass. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. 20, by 20. Brady will try again on second down. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Brady to Gronkowski. They make it look easy, don't they? And it's a Patriot first down. Brandon, with the way things are going with Tom Brady finding Gronk as many times as he has in this game and the team is winning, you think at some point maybe even Brady would do the Gronk dance? <laughs> well, if he does that Gronk dance, Davis, that means you have to do that Gronk dance. Trust me, partner. No one wants to see me do the Gronk dance. <laughs> Your wife? <laughs> no. No one. A gain of three, second down. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Play action. Now Brady. And caught by Hogan for a Patriot touchdown. Chris Hogan, a 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Patriots add on to their lead. Certainly there are good things about quick strike offenses that score fast. But a long drive can also work to your advantage as well. In so many ways, Brandon, because number one, you get them tired, but the big one is mentally. They can't figure out how to slow you down, how to get off the field, how to get the ball back. They go to the bench wondering, what are we going to do next time in order to stop those guys? Koski now out to kick it away. This will be fielded at the six. <laughs> so here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. They just yielded a touchdown on the other end. Now they'll be trying to answer the bell and get a score of their own. It's their opportunity to match. Can they do exactly what they just saw happen to them go down the field and score a touchdown. And to me, the best way to do it, look at your play sheet coordinator and call plays for guys that make the best plays Three, for nine, you. Three, go to the guys nine. that you know can get the ball down to the end zone. To the sideline, and wow, what a catch there. He doesn't get a lot, but he was able to get the feet down complete. The completion good for three, and it's second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. That first down completion only netted them three. Second and seven. Green, green, 90. Green, 90. Cut. 
They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. It'll go as a gain of seven on the play, and it sets up a third and in inches situation. He had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Here we go. Three. Mahomes looks to throw on third down. He is going to find Hill here. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. But give the defensive guys a little bit of credit. They didn't let the deep ball beat them on that play, did they? No, the, the drag, that guy can be your safety valve. We saw it right there. Yeah, and it picked up a first down for him, too. Mahomes now 10 of 17 throwing the ball. He's got a first and 10. Mahomes going to throw. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. I hope I don't sound too rah-rah on that one, but that's the exact right throw. Either your receiver gets it or no one gets it. Give him a lot of credit for being really precise with it. Got rid of it. No one got it. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Green! Green! 90! Green! 90! Ah! They'll run it now out of the gun. Looking to find a lane, but he can't rein in at the line of scrimmage. Calling no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, 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 and what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. And the blitz does come. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Well, we always talk about how you've got to be quick when you go through your progressions, and here's another prime example. Trying to look downfield, he was standing in the pocket, but just couldn't find anyone open, could he? No, not enough time. They hit him and forced that incompletion. Here's Dustin Colquitt now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. So the Patriots coming out now. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were competent enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Line of scrimmage, the 28 now as they come up on second and a couple. Wait, 20. They stay on the ground. This time it's Michelle. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains third quarter and you've got the lead you're not ready to go into that four minute offense to close the game out but a running game can really benefit your team right now from the 34 now here's first and 10 Wait, 20. they go play action here on first down and now a fumble Brady loses the football and his guys are going to get the football at the 23-yard line. Parker, I don't care how long he plays. Anytime there's a fumble involving Tom Brady. You think the Raiders are involved? <laughs> you think the Raiders are involved. You think it's snowing. And immediately you hear the words, tuck rule. And now the tuck rule doesn't exist anymore, but that always comes back up with Tom Brady, doesn't it? It absolutely does. Even here, even now. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Hunt, and he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. 
And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. Well, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other backs in the league. This is Hunt. And a pickup of about four down inside the 10 to the eight yard line. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again, go play action, and hit them over the top. There we go now. Here's Hunt. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. It's a six-yard run, leaves him with about a foot or so here still to go to hit the marker with third down coming up. Some good strong running right there, some power and some explosiveness just about got him into the end zone. The offense on third down tonight, they've had good success, five for eight to this point. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. He didn't even try to signal for a timeout, so they must have not been aware of the numbers. I think he lost track of the time left in the play clock and probably was trying to read the defense and trying to figure out which play to run and just lost track, and it cost him. The Chiefs on third down. They've had good success, five for eight to this point. This will be third and five. Hey, here we go now. Green, 90. Here's Mahomes to throw. Toward the pylon, caught. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Great footwork there, Charles, to dot the eye, stay in bounds, get both feet in. He's probably thinking, though, man, I made a catch like that that close to the end zone. I should have scored. Yeah, there's always a regret when you're that close to the goal line. But let's go back to what you talked about before, getting his feet down. Would you say dotting the eye? Mm -hmm. I can cross the T as well. That was excellent footwork to get in bounds and make a great. And he's going to take it into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. A great play there. His second touchdown of the night. And the Chiefs use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. And nothing special there. They show they were going to run the football. They ran it. They got it in. Like old-time football, right? Hey, this is exactly what we're going to do. Straight ahead power, and they got it done. Extra point splits the uprights, and that will get them one closer. Butker now to kick this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. And now out come the Patriots. And last drive, obviously not what you're looking for. You've got the lead. you got to protect the football. So in other words, someone got lucky because they've been moving the ball really well and wearing them down. In this case, though, giving up the football, doesn't make them very happy. They can't wait to get back out there and atone for it. Yeah, try to atone for it here on this drive. Brady now on first down. Over the middle, Julian Edelman, it's complete. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. That throw good for four. It's second down. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. That catch puts him over 70 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. Wait, 
throwing on first down is Brady. And that's caught. It's Edelman again. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A good pick up there, 26 yards. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory as they're down to the 29-yard line. Play action, now it's Brady. He's going to go up top for the end zone. And look at this, they get the turnover they needed, it's intercepted. Picked off by the safety here, Ron Parker. Well, this D, particularly the secondary, has been picked apart at points here tonight. They finally, though, get to the quarterback in a pick. And we know this about him. He loves night games, loves the spotlight, loves being the center of attention. I will bet you that he ran off the field almost chuckling to himself. They finally got one. They finally got me. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as... I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Here we go. Green, 90. Green. They'll run it now out of the gun. And not much. Maybe a yard up to the 29. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. What that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. The Chiefs on third down. Six conversions and nine tries. They've done a great job of picking these up. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And a third down pass falls incomplete. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play, and the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. This is brought in at the 21. It's a 47-yard punt, but they did give up 10 on the return. And the Patriots take over. The Patriots offense now, they work their way back onto the field. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. Of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. Oh, a battle for it here, and this will be caught. 15 yards is the pick up there and the drive starting very nicely. First down. I got the sense that the defense created a little momentum for them there, didn't it? Did their job, forced the punt. Now, nice start to the drive. Offense has to do their part. Yeah, they certainly do, but what a great start for them. They got to go thank the guys on D. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Wait, on the ground, this is Michelle. And no room that time, getting it to about the 46. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Offensively with the lead, you want to run the ball, keep the clock going, but you also want to still kind of be in attack mode too, right? So how do you do that and not come back on your heels? Now think about all the practices we've watched where they have that tempo period to go over things just like this, where they describe the scenario, tell you what they're looking for, and make sure that they're still attacking, yet at the same time not going so fast as to leave too much time on the clock. The throw there by Brady, intended for Gronkowski, but incomplete. Well, there's times when you see these catches that are made, and we just know the guys playing it are really wishing for college rules. Only need that one, one foot, foot down instead of two. It's awfully difficult on the sideline, isn't it? New England on third down. They've hit four of seven. This is third and nine. By 20! By 20! Go! Operating from the gun, Brady. This is caught. It's Julian Edelman. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. Couldn't just sit on it here, could they? Had to throw the ball on third down, got the big completion in the pickup, fresh set of downs now. They've got to feel great. And defensively a backbreaker. So the big play gets them all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Brady now on first down. To Michelle on the dump off. Nothing on that one. It'll be second down. Okay. 
If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Now Michelle. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. They'll lose a yard, and it brings up third. And this is why the head coach gets paid the big bucks. Look at where they are in this situation, partner. Do you throw the ball here in a long-distance situation? Do you run it again and trust your defense and make sure you take care of the ball and punt it away? What kind of options do you have here, and what do you trust more on your team? Yeah, they may have just pushed him back into that throwing situation. We'll see. Toward the sideline. Did he keep the feet in? Yes, he got them both down, says the side judge. And that's good enough for a first down. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Gronkowski, slot left. From the gun, Brady. And that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. The fourth touchdown pass of the game for Tom Brady. And the Patriots add six to their lead. They went empty backfield, all their weapons out wide, so there, were, there really was no secret here to what they were going to do. No secret, but they still had to execute it, and they still had to protect the guy throwing the ball because oftentimes when you empty the backfield, people bring pressure at you. They managed to hold in there and successfully complete the touchdown pass. Goskowski the extra point, and that makes this a nine-point game. Koski now out to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So now here are the Chiefs as their offense makes their way back out onto the field. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their <laughs> offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. Now Mahomes. And going deep for Hill. And that's caught inside the 30. And he finally goes down at the 23-yard line. Mahomes finding Hill for a big play. 52 yards. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and 10 just outside the red zone. Here we go now. Green, 39. Play fake there to Hunt. Now Mahomes. And his throw here is incomplete. Chris Conley, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. I'm not even sure I know who this guy is out there playing right now. This is very unlike him, one of the most accurate guys in the league, totally off his game right now. I don't know. I was going to ask you what you pin it on, but defensively, they've been pretty solid. Well, sometimes, you know, those defenders, they get into the receivers pretty well, and if they chip away at their timing, it's going to affect what you're doing throwing the ball as well. Mahomes again here on second and 10. And an alley to run. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. The Chiefs on third down. They're hitting at 60%, six out of 10 thus far. This time, they face a third and two. They run with Hunt, and he gets the first down yardage before he's brought down just outside the 10 at the 11. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. 
Now here's Mahomes. And lucky to get away with one there. That one nearly picked. Second down. I guess they're in a situation now, fourth quarter, where they're forced to take some chances, but I don't know that that was the type of a chance you want to take. And that one could very easily have been intercepted, and if it does get picked off, that could possibly seal this one. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Four down, four down. Here we go now. Green. Now Hunt. <laughs> and he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest game. Give him four on the ground there. They're now left with third and six. This has been an up and down, back and forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive could take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. The Chiefs on third down. Now they've converted seven times and could use another right now. This will be third and six. Here we go now. Green, 90. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And that is incomplete. Brandon, some of those windows that throw the football that exist when you're between the 20s, they don't exist when you're this close to the goal line. But as a former DB, I liked it closer to the goal line. Tighter windows made it easier to cover people, actually. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. From the left hand, should be a fairly easy one here. And the kick by Butker is good. And the drive will wind up yielding three. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back, preferably a takeaway. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. Now it's Patterson. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. Now the Patriot offense set to take over again. The field goal we just saw has this now at a one-score game, and on this side of the football, things are getting pretty tenuous, a little stressful. Blood pressure up a little bit, you think? I think up a lot of it. Uh, could you imagine taking the pulse <laughs> right now? Might be like a jackhammer out there on that side of the ball, but here's what the deal is. I think what we've observed is a team that's been playing not to lose as opposed to playing to win. They've got to get back to that, and that means opening things up again, being a little more free than what they're trying to get done on offense. And yeah, they work this well upfield across the 45. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones and a first down. Well, it may seem a little unorthodox to some people. Got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football, be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. No, that is his game, and that's what they're going to ride. Brady. Gronkowski got it on the crossing round. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A very solid gain of 27. Not only have they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely. Great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 26-yard line. By 20! By 20! Get. They'll run it now out of the gun. And they've got it in the red zone now, down at about the 19. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Now, I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely. You want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. They stay on the ground with White. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. But they didn't accomplish their goal. They didn't get a stop there, gave up another first down. They have all three timeouts in their pocket. I think defensively, you've got to start thinking about using them here. I was just going to ask you, at what point you think now's the go time? I think now's the go time. I don't think you sit back and wait because they can take a lot of time off the clock between plays and run three to four and really put you in a stressful spot. Now a carry for White. 
And strong running there as he's inside the 10 and down to the 8-yard line. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Able to stay in bounds, so the clock keeps rolling. And this defense right now backed up in the red zone. Another touchdown, it's over. They've got to stand tall quickly. Been in this spot before. Now there's a little bit of desperation creeping in, and all you're doing when you're talking to your defensive teammates is first guy there, hold him up. Second, third guy in, rake it the football. Get it out. We've got creep. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Selby Michelle, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the Patriots add on to their lead. I know we don't talk about it enough, but the intelligence level of the guys up front blocking, the offensive linemen, maybe the smartest guys in football overall. Add in a little bit of athleticism and a whole lot of toughness, you've got a lot to deal with, don't you? That's why the guys in the backfield get them really nice Christmas gifts, right? If they're smart, they do. And intercepted, maybe the turning point they need. It's the sack master, Justin Houston, who comes up with it. Koskowski now out to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Now the Chiefs offense, they get ready to head on the field. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. You <laughs> put it through the post. That's going to help him at contract time. But that now offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him at contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. Toe bash. I don't know about that. Toe bash. <laughs> Super toe. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Gets it on the draw from Mahomes. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. Hunt, hunt, hunt. From the gun on third down, Mahomes. That one is caught by Hunt. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. To throw, it's Mahomes. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. Here we go. Blue 45. Blue. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he will be brought down at about the 43 that time. And a stoppage here, a timeout before this third down play takes place. As he'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Ready. Blue 45. Blue 45. Hot, hot, hot. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. And I think we'll probably see him go for it here on fourth down. No reason not to. Down a couple of scores, they have to try and make something good happen. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Here we go now. Blue 45. 
Now Mahomes got to have this one. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And no, it's incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And that'll be just about all she wrote for this one. So with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the old expression about Slim and none? Well, Slim just left town on that <laughs> They're one. They're down to none? Yes, exactly right. Wait, 20! Wait, 20! Coming left is Michelle. And some room to run now. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Well, that looked like an example of what you said back in the first half. A running back of his size can really wear down a defense. I think he's starting to do that. I think you're exactly right. And know what else he's doing? He's inspiring the rest of his team because they see this starting to happen as well. So that means they're going to redouble their efforts to help him out. Extra blocking, getting downfield, helping him out. Keeping it on the ground on first, Michelle. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. You'd have to think likely another running play coming here, second and 11. On the ground, Michelle. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense. As it comes with exactly a minute to go in the football game. First and second down went in the wrong direction. They'll try to do better here on third and 13. Wait, 20, 380, The Patriots in the victory formation as they'll take the knee. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. He hit his first one, this from 44 yards out now. And Goskowski's kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So they settle for just the three, but clearly right now anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off, but it's still eight up time, got points. so. While it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. Goskowski now converted for three. Now he'll kick this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And now here comes Kansas City. They can't do much at this point, partner. This one is going to go down in the loss column. You don't make up for what has happened during the game in this sequence here. Maybe you hand it off and let someone run the ball if you, if you so choose. But otherwise, just kneel down, call it a day, and try and prepare going forward. Here we go now. Blue 45. Blue 45. Mahomes now on first down. He's going to let it fly. And incomplete there, almost picked off. That's one you maybe expect your roaming free safety to come up with. But it's second down. Try and get it all back with one big shot right there. But even if successful, that doesn't get them all the way back to where they need to be. Can't totally abandon throwing the ball underneath as well. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Mahomes will try again on second down. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that one falls incomplete. A 50-50 ball, a little dangerous, could have been picked. Now it's third down. 
can't be wary of throwing an interception here because the defense knows they're going to get tested deep. That's why they're going to put a couple of extra guys back there to try and prevent that. Yeah, late in the fourth quarter here trying to preserve the lead. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. One final try for Mahomes. And that will be incomplete as time has run out on this football game. A big offensive explosion helped leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. The Patriots winners here at home as we say so long from Foxborough.